Welcome to the Expositor Podcast with Dr. Stephen J. Lawson. Dr. Lawson is the founder and president of One Passion Ministries. The Expositor Podcast is focused on taking your preaching to the next level. Now, here's Dr. Lawson. In this podcast, I want to talk to you about the preaching of Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones, who was the great preacher of Westminster Chapel in London in the 20th century. I think he is the one man most responsible for our return to expository preaching as he modeled this in his ministry in the great um, independent church there in London. If I was to isolate just one aspect of the preaching of Lloyd-Jones that I think causes him to so uniquely stand out as a preacher, and there are many things to which I could draw our attention, but I, I think this how theocentric, how God-centered he, he, he was in his preaching. Um, he was a big God preacher. Um, you always are impressed with the majesty and the greatness and the grandeur of God as you read or as you hear the preaching of Lloyd-Jones. And, and we desperate, desperately need that, especially in this day with much Christ-centered preaching. Um, and we need to be Christ-centered. But as R.C. Sproul said, we're not Unitarians. Uh, the only person in the Godhead is not Jesus Christ. We need to also preach God the Father as well as God the Holy Spirit. And in this sense, we need to be as Jonathan Edwards um, insisted upon being. We need to be Trinitarian and, being, and preaching the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In my estimation, the forgotten member of the Godhead is God the Father as there is so much emphasis drawn upon the Son and even upon the Spirit, and I'm quick to say, and rightly so, but sad to say at times to the neglect of God the Father, who is the one who sent the Son and who sent the Holy Spirit, who is the architect of the eternal decree, who is the author of the gospel. Let us not forget preaching God the Father. Listen to Lloyd-Jones as he was so focused upon preaching God the Father. After he retired from Westminster Chapel, he came to the States and toured and lectured and preached in some. And in 1969, he came to Westminster Theological Seminary in Philadelphia, and he gave a famous series of lectures on preaching that has become the book Preaching and Preachers. But in those lectures... Lloyd-Jones says, what is preaching? He said, preaching is first of all a proclamation of the being of God. In other words, everything starts with God. Uh, we can't even understand ourselves. We cannot understand the world around us. We cannot understand man until we first understand who God is. God is the standard for everything um, and by which everything is measured. Until we put God in His place, we cannot understand sin or salvation or even the will of God. And so preaching is first of all a proclamation of the being of God. Lloyd-Jones says, preaching worthy of the name starts with God and with a declaration concerning His being his power, and His glory. You find that everywhere in the New Testament. That is precisely what Paul did in Athens. He began, Him declare I unto you. Him, Him referring to, to, to God. He says, preaching about God and contrasting Him with the idols, exposing the emptiness and the, and the uselessness of idols. It all begins by preaching God. After Lloyd-Jones retired, uh, he would often on Sunday slip into the back of a church and sit on one of the back pews so that he wouldn't be noticed or discovered. Uh, and so here is the most famous preacher at that time in the world, um, almost in the world, and certainly in England, slipping into the back uh, of a church to listen to that preacher and he heard um, a wide variety of preaching, as you can imagine. 
And this is what Lloyd-Jones had to say. It's, it's, it's worth repeating. I can forgive a man a bad sermon. I can forgive the preacher almost anything if he gives me a sense of God, if he gives me something for my soul, if he gives me the sense that though he is inadequate in himself, he is handling something which is very great and glorious. If he gives me some dim glimpse of the majesty and glory of God, the love of Christ my Savior, and the magnificence of the gospel, he says, just give me something of God. If he does that, I am his debtor, and I am profoundly grateful to him. Again, he says, what is the chief end of preaching? I like to think it is this. It is to give men and women a sense of God and His presence. So, as you preach, I want to urge you to be like Lloyd-Jones, to always set God down first as the, the, the primary focus, that everything will be placed in relationship to the character of God, to the attributes of God, to the being of God, and to the glory and the will of God. This is what marked the preaching of Lloyd-Jones, and this is what must mark our preaching. May we be known as a great preacher of a great God. And while we would never say we are a great preacher, the, the greatness does not lie in us. The greatness lies in the God that we preach. You may not be the greatest preacher in town, but you can preach the greatest God in town. May you be forever lifting up and upholding the greatness of God in your preaching.